Recording. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the JS Core Dev Team Weekly Sync. It's the 17th of December. We're running out of time on this year. Uh, so let's do this quickly. <laughs> We're five minutes late. All hands ran over a little bit, but that's okay. We're still in good spirits. Uh, Bashko just did an amazing uh, demo on the all hands. So you should go and watch that if you didn't see it the first time around. Uh, cool. The notes are in the crypt pad. Uh, if you haven't already, please put your name on your attendees list. Um, Jacob is not coming. You know what this means, guys. Can I get a volunteer for taking notes? Raise your hand or type me in the chat. All right, Alex, thank you. <laughs> Hooray. Sweet. Um, cool. Okay. That's, that's that. Uh, so what's next? Next, we do what we normally do. Uh, and we do a round of what you did last week, what you're going to be doing this week and stuff that you're blocked on. Uh, so let's get that over and done with. Uh, who is first on list? It is, it is Jacob, who's not here. Okay, so it looks like he has finished, uh, wait, finished or fixed lippy to be not started yet. Oh, yes, so there's an error with lippy to be uh, throwing an error saying it's not started, uh, which seems to be fixed. He seems to have improved connections tracking for uh, lippy to be switch, which is great. He's been doing OKR planning. He's not blocked. Uh, he is finishing off some lippy to be daemon work next and uh, lippy to be crypto exploring support for lippy to be keychain. Rad. If you have any questions about that, then please get in contact with Jacob after the call. Um, next on the list is Volker. Would you care to share your update with us? Hi, um, I still work on the uh, IPLD API stuff. And so I currently work on integrating it into IPFS itself, starting with the Linux FS importer and exporter. And it's surprisingly easier than I thought. And the IP API seems to be to work quite well, it seems. Um, yeah, and I was still working on that. And yeah, that's all. Nice. Any questions for Volker? I have a question. Uh, the so what how what what does that mean? Uh, have you implemented that API in all of the different formats, or like how, how where yeah. where are you? So currently, so I've done two things. So one thing is I've ported the um, DAG protocol buffers a format to the new proposed spec because that's the hardest one to do to see if it works. And in parallel, I also added the, there's also an API spec update for JS IPLD. And now my current plan is to first get that JS IPLD done, so it will still work with the old formats, and then we can upgrade the whole chain, basically. But I plan to do it in January, so not, not before the end of the year. Are they, are they so I take it they're not released? No. no. I make sure it basically works, and then I will bubble it up. And it also basically is the combination also with the um, async iterator um, awesome endeavor basically that also the whole thing uh, switches to promises. Um, yes. Uh, could you please assign me as like a reviewer when you do these? I'd really like to look at your Yes, I, I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I will. Uh, I will do it once I have something, but I, so currently, so the plan is, as David suggested, that basically just to see if, if everything is, works and then, yeah, um, publish them before I need to change all the PFs again. If you could assign me as a reviewer as well, that'd be really handy. Yeah, sure, yeah, we will do. Cool, okay, thank you, Volker. Any other questions for Volker? All right, moving on is Fashko. Hey all. So last week uh, I updated the IPNS spec pull request with the uh, fixes that uh, we did in GS and Go site to have interoperability in the PubSub routing. I already asked today a review to Steven, hoping to finish this during this quarter yet. 
Then in the DHT awesome endeavor, I fixed uh, Alan's reviews. However, uh, when I enabled uh, the, all the all the tests uh, of the test suite with um, the DHT enabled, I got a lot of uh, flaky tests all over the code base. And I'm uh, I've been uh, mostly of the last week and still this week fixing flaky tests that uh, appear to like break now now. I've I've almost uh, uh, getting every time working fine in my machine, but the CI still complains. I, I'm still working on it. Then in the Lib2P daemon client, I finished the test for the basic commands, and I also started the DHT commands. I have the the commit link if you want to check it. Uh, I also closed with Jacob the Q1 OKRs for just Lib2P. And I presented before the IPTB DHT test simulator. So I'm not uh, blocked on anything right now, uh, more or less in the DHT stuff, but uh, I think uh, myself and Dallin uh, will handle it. Uh, so for this week, uh, I want to finish the retrospective and OKR scoring, finish the DHT Awesome Endeavor stuff, fix a CAD DHT bug that Alan reported that basically that we are having way too many uh, peers connected and something is wrong. Uh, Lidl had uh, uh, valuable input on that and I will look at it afterwards. Then in the Lipid Fear uh, daemon client, I want to finish the DHT commands to create the pull request. I will also be helping uh, Setazor this week with a workshop in the uh, University of Aver. And uh, uh, finally, I want to also start the basic interrupt tests after finishing the PR for the demon client. And that's all for me. Any questions? Cool, thank you very much. Doesn't look like there's any questions. Uh, next on the list is me. Uh, okay, so done. What have I done? Uh, so, uh, I, I, so I've been implementing the new ad from uh, methods in JS IPFS that uh, were in the util thing uh, for the HTTP client uh, but have been promoted to the uh, root namespace and uh, and are now in the interface IPFS core so they need to be implemented. I added one for add from stream and add from FS. Uh, oh, add from FS, I've put merged there but it's not actually merged yet. <laughs> Uh, so that's a lie, sorry, but it's very close, it's really close. Um, uh, the CID base, CID base option is now in and, uh, and merged, ready to go, uh, so that's good. Um, the, uh, the, the changes that I did to the repo for CID version agnostic getting, so putting in a CID v0 and getting, at, uh, getting it back with a CID v1, um, they were done and there was some fallout from that uh, that needed to be fixed up. Um, in the in upstream in uh, JS IPFS, uh, so that was that was all done and merged, um, and then I've, I did a whole bunch of other PRs uh, that are less important and less interesting, uh, and I did some reviewing of the DHC PR and the project roadmap, um, and currently the only thing blocking the JS IPFS zero thirty four release is that. PR that I mentioned that it hasn't quite been merged yet, add from FS as well as the DHT one. Um, but I'd rather get the DHT one. Uh, I don't want to rush this and get it in really quickly. So um, let's get it. Let's get it to a good standard before we, we merge it and release it. Um, but uh, what I recommend, if you're at all interested in having a DHT in JS IPFS, is to switch into that branch uh, and watch your peers go up like mad because we've got an interoperable DHT and it's super friggin' exciting. <laughs> so you should go and have a go. And it's really cool. And it's so close. It's so close. Um, cool. Next up, I need to do uh, quarter one uh, 2019 planning um, with you fine people. So um, we are running out of time. If you could please put your um, ideas for what you're going to be doing for quarter one on the PR that I've made on the team management repo uh, and fill in the retrospective. I've been doing a retrospective today and thinking about what I'd like to do. I just need to note that down um, and we'll get that done and then I'm presenting that on Wednesday. Um, that is me. Any questions?
Are we still vaguely on track for 34 to come out before Christmas? Yes and no. Like I said, it's currently blocked by the DHT uh, uh, being ready to go in. That's that's probably the only one that's gonna that that is uh that's gonna affect it. And I'm either well, if it if it went in tomorrow, I could maybe get it released um, in on time. But um, yeah, it's looking unlikely to be honest. It might be early January. David. What can we do to help it happen this week? Perhaps Vasco has like a more concrete answer, given it's yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, now I have all the tests, like nine in ten times passing in my computer, but in the CI, mostly in the Linux and the Mac OS, I have like uh, since uh, I have flaky tests, like tests that. Uh, usually pass but sometimes do not pass through uh, timeouts or even uh, more random stuff and i also have uh, lots of uh, javascript to keep out of memory and uh, i'm kind of uh, trying to fix them but as i have to wait like one hour to have uh, a test running i and then only in the ci i'm not sure how you can help and instead uh, or the my guess would be just try to run the tests in your computers and if you have problems uh, report to me or try to fix them um so like it seems like it's like a resource problem because like you just have a more powerful laptop like you don't see those things happening um but like yeah. you can totally simulate a less powerful laptop inside your laptop uh either by just like adjusting the amount of memory that goes into node or even i like, just creating a vm uh, that like simulates the same Linux, Linux environment that like we are using in CI. Uh, that will make it more fast to reproduce. Um, and in yeah, I, I like not trying to distract everyone, but like I, I think it would be pretty cool like if we manage to uh, cut, well if people have the time to kind of like help here uh, because it will be like one of those moments where the IPFS team and the IPLD team like see that there is a requirement on the peer to peer uh, and clearly not enough resources to deal with the demand. And so if we can just like help that get to the finish line, it'd be awesome. If not, it does fine. Uh, I saw a hand from Alan or Alex. Like, okay, Alex, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like there's still quite a lot of work to be done on the DHT. Like, is it worth maybe pulling it from the release and putting it into 35? That's also a valid point. Yeah, if people are um, in agreement with that, then yeah, we can we can get JS for IPFS zero thirty four out the door tomorrow, if you like. Uh, it won't like, yeah. I mean that that would be fine. It won't have as big bang for buck as uh, as it as, as it does at the moment. Still a lot of exciting stuff there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I I am I am fine either way. Yeah, and, and I, I think like part of the recent work was also it's easier now to enable the DHT. So like you, you can still say, oh, like DHT is from alpha to beta. Like just use this flag because it's easier now to enable it. And other users can like help debug things if they want. Okay, should we take a vote? Yeah, that sounds good. We <laughs> want 0 0.34, uh, let's do two rounds, like option A and option B. So like who wants... Uh, 034 released this week without DHT. Um, raise your hand. Okay, so I have four, five, five. Who wants option B, which is wait for next year to like, like, and, and again, like wait for next year doesn't mean like we have this ready on the first week of January. Like there's still work to do. Uh, sorry, but I can only release. Say again. Oh, I'm sorry. I voted wrong. I mean, like, wait for next year. <laughs> For the whole thing, um, okay. So, me, for oh, sorry. Here. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> like so, one side we have uh, ship zero thirty four, which has a bunch of new features that are super robust and reliable and solid, and like new APIs that are fun and bug fixes and so on. Uh, but like ship zero thirty four without the DHT component, right? And so, okay, we get a new new thing this week. 
the other option is do not release anything this week and and like just save all it all together for next year uh the performance improvements that like npm and ipfs is using uh, all of that stuff right uh so option a just just get it out like all of the nice things that we already have solid and robust this week let's see some hands okay one two three four uh five uh counting with mine uh <laughs> and i got option b like let's wait uh three plus weeks we actually don't know to wait to add the dht so that it can go out oh i don't see uh, so it's option b like you can vote now okay i i guess like we have five versus zero with some <laughs> it's uh, a, it's a case, but, like <laughs> i i would prefer to get something out i think <laughs> I think especially because of like NPM on IPFS use case, like and everything that Alex has been working on, I totally want to see those performance improvements there. <laughs> like those are huge. Cool. Okay, cool. It's decided. Thank you for your time. And uh, <laughs> all right, cool. So let's move on quickly because we just wasted a bunch of time. Not wasted. Productive voting. <laughs> for, for, but we got sidetracked. Anyway, uh, who is next? Uh, Aiken Brain. Alex. Yeah, so uh, the, um, change the Unix FS importer um, to use an in-memory IPLD. This is great because it means that the tests are now a lot faster to run. Uh, and they all run in the browser, which previously they didn't, uh, which is great. So I just need to, um, but yeah, so the, the ones that are really slow are the massive directories and so they need a bit of performance uh, enhancement before they'll actually work reliably on Jenkins. Um, I started IP updating the IPFS HTTP project, which is kind of the next generation, imagine. It's basically IPFS for the interface. Um, I was trying to update that to work with kind of the new changes to um, the object API and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I got sick, which is really boring. Um, and so I had, you know, a day out last week. Uh, I was also working on the, um, the scoring and, and the retro stuff. Um, and next up is OKR planning, finish off the HTTP thing, and then I really want to look at the repo migration tool. Um, that will probably be me to the end of the week. Any questions? Can't see any hands. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you, Alex. Uh, let me just... I uh, clicked around and now it's gone. Okay, Hugo. Whoa, your update is big. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, so I've been working on the bundle size stuff. Um, I have uh, one pull request on Azure about uh, making Karma and Babel uh, builds uh, all default. I um, also did the um, uh, prototype for the Azure DevOps CI, which doesn't look uh, very promising because it doesn't allow for a um, single job uh, restart. But yeah, let's see. Um, also did uh, um, already uh, did a, re a rework on the error proposal with wrapping. I'll be updating the pull, re uh, the, the pull request uh, today or tomorrow. And yeah, the rest is all about the pull requests in every every repo possible, uh, reducing the bundle size. Um, HTTP client, it's uh, done. LibPGP is also done. I'm finishing up the JS IPFS. Uh, so it's almost almost done. And uh, the results are pretty, pretty great. Uh, but yeah, you will see the um, the final ones um, today or tomorrow with some nice pictures, uh, so you can see all the reduction I've made. Um, I'm blocked in a couple of PRs. Uh, the main one is the Asia one, but I still need to figure out uh, what's happening with the. Um, some karma package that don't get installed on the, or or as don't get detected by karma on jenkins um and after that i can start uh, merging and bubbling up all the pull requests uh, and for this week i'll finish the bundle size okr the error codes okr 
hopefully, and uh, today or tomorrow, the, retro, the retrospective, and the, for the rest, uh, it will be um, planning, OKR planning. Any questions? No. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Guga. Uh, who is next? We have got Matteo. Matteo is not attending this one. Uh, just quickly, uh, so there's a bunch of uh, poll requests and issues there that have been done, and he's blocked on a few there as well. I will check them out in a bit. Uh, more analysis next for Matteo and uh, improving async management and reduced pressure on the event loop and GC, cool. Crypto and compact BL if time, cool. Uh, and uh, the other Alex is also not attending today, unless he's arrived, no, okay, cool. Uh, and he's done first go benchmark, that's cool for the benchmarks, uh, run, run clinic. Uh, I guess that just means it, it runs now, that's great. Uh, fixed scripts, and fixing scripts, okay. Uh, and he's blocked on storing stuff on IPFS. Okay, uh, I will also look at that at some point. Um, and Ron, you are here. Would you like to give us your update? Yeah, I'm here, yeah, so, yeah, so I'm integrating, well, what I did, okay, so last week mostly fixed, did a lot of fixing on just the runner, uh, running it on the dashboard in the, on the bare metal machine. So last week, I think the dashboard was broken. So that's been fixed. We've also added a lot more tags to it now. So we have a, for the, for the whole daily run, we have a UUID we can actually map against, you know, so not just a branch or a version, but just even each run can be tagged. Um, and then also, yeah, we have the branch and version, so you can, you know, um, drill down to find your specific, um, criteria that you're looking for on the dashboard. So that's that's looking a lot better and it's running. Um, we added IPS version to the InfluxDB tag. So mostly just a lot of fixes around the dashboard itself. Um, and also did, um, so um, working with integrating the Go benchmark. So it's, it's very close, the PR is out. I just, um, there's a couple of fixes I need to do to that, but that will be uh, probably landed within a couple hours from today. Um, and then um, also going to be integrating the browser benchmarks, which will there be at least one. Um, and then a couple more bug fixes, which Mateo has been jotting down. So um, that's me for this week. So any questions? All right, looks like you got off Scott free. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, we are at the end of the list of people. Um, do we have, we have a few minutes left. Does anyone have, oh, we have, uh, so other notes. Some people are on holiday because I don't know, there's something going on, I guess. Um, and, uh, and then, uh, so I put this down, no call on 24th of December or the 31st of December because it was also on the all hands call. Uh, do people agree that we won't be around for that? <laughs> Thumbs up, good, yes, okay. We'll be like, I don't know drunk or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, and okay, if do we have any other like questions or comments or anything about anything at all before we sign off for this year? No, okay. I would like to add it's been very nice working with you all for this past year. Uh, and uh, I very much look forward to doing it all over again next year, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. OKRs. Uh, do do that thing because I need to present them and it's awkward when I don't have anything to present. So uh, cool. All right. Thank you all for attending um, and uh, I'll see you next year. Have a fun holiday time. All right. Bye. Bye.